Can a woman get pregnant during menses? This lesson will be looking at possibility of a woman getting pregnant if she has sexual intercourse during menstrual flow at the time when she's experiences experiencing the flow of menses and she's wearing pad okay vulva pad the sanitary pad if she engaged in a sexual affair during that period is it possible she can get pregnant this video to get tar targets answering this question. Please, we are going to touch some scientific facts that you can take note of. My name is Dr. David Ayim, your midwife, your reproductive health expert, and we are on again. I am here in Cameroon, in Bamenda, precisely. Like I reminded us last time, I am a lecturer at the National Training School for Midwives in Bamenda and also a part-time lecturer at the University of Bamenda at the Faculty of Health Sciences. Sometimes it is good for more detailed introduction so you can understand, uh, we can discuss issues that have to do with health. I have chosen to create this channel for reproductive health discussions. If you have not yet subscribed, please come on, subscribe, like, and share. Make your comments, please. They will encourage us or cause us to improve on our lessons. Thank you. I will start by saying that the issue whether a woman can get pregnant if she has sexual intercourse during menstrual flow, it actually depends on about four conditions. One, it depends on when the woman has sex or sexual intercourse. Number two, it would depend on the length of her menstrual cycle. How long is her cycle? Is she having a 28-day cycle? Is she having a 30-day cycle? Does she have a 32-day cycle or 26? Is she having a short cycle like 21, 22? So it also depends on the length of somebody's cycle. Number three, it depends also on the day of ovulation. When does she ovulate? So for us to answer these questions, we look at these conditions. Because the day or the exact day of ovulation, that's the release of the egg in the woman, matters a lot in determining whether she gets pregnant or not. Number four condition, the lifespan of the sperm cell. If the man ejaculates in the tract of the woman, what if the sperms do not live long? What is the maximum lifespan of a sperm cell? It would depend on a lot of that. This is also because uh, there are some men that can ejaculate now and in the next six to 10 hours, all the sperms die. Or in the next 10 to 15, 18 hours, all the sperms die. In less than 24 hours, all the sperm cells die. Yet there are some men that they ejaculate and the sperm cells may make 72 hours, 96, 120, meaning that up to four days, four to five days, some very healthy, you know, some, some men are blessed. Because even their sperm, when they enter into the tract of the, the woman, they can be loitering inside the vagina walls, fallopian tubes, they could be there for four days or even slightly more, getting to five days. Yes, sperm cells can live like that. And, and studies have told us that have taught us that uh, the, the, the sperm can live 24 more hours than the egg in the woman. Yet we are told that the egg in the woman can live for up to three days, or slightly more, but but hardly up to four days. Yet the sperm cells can live for four days and slightly more. 
how does this information help us to understand if a woman can get pregnant if she has sex during, during menstrual flow? In most cases, my dear brothers and sisters, in, in, in most women, you know, it would, there, there will be no pregnancy if you have sex during, during menstrual flow. I'm saying in about 80% of women, in about 80 to 85% of women, it is not possible for them to have a pregnancy if they have sex during menstrual flow. But you see, you have about 10% to 15% chance of getting pregnant. Some women have such chance of getting pregnant while they are still on the menstrual flow. Who are these women? A typical example is women with short menstrual cycle. A short menstrual cycle is a 21-day cycle, it's a 22-day cycle, even 23, even up to 24 days are considered short. Because a, an average duration of a menstrual cycle is 28 days, plus or minus 7 days. You see, 28 minus 7 is 21. As you are going very far like that, down, away from 28, the chances of you getting pregnant even during menstrual flow begins to increase. So some women have their cycle that is always every 21 days. With those type, they can easily get pregnant if they have sex during menstrual flow. People with 22 day cycle, 23, sometimes even up to 24, they can still have, a, they can still get, get, get a pregnancy if they have sex during menstrual flow. Do not also forget that the days of menstrual flow also vary from one woman to the other. Some women will just have menstrual flow for three days, some have it for four days, yet some are having normal menstrual flow for seven days, yet some will tell you that each time their menses come, it normally flows for, for close to 10 days, eight, nine days. And they have studied it for a long time and it's normal for them, it's not a disease, not a complication. So you see, the number of days of flow really varies from one woman to the other. But now, look at some woman with a 21-day cycle. We have taught a lesson that somebody with a 21-day cycle, she ovulates by day seventh, seventh day of her cycle. Why? Because 21 minus 14 gives you seven. Somebody will ask me that, where is 14 coming from? We have also taught in another video a constant phase of the menstrual cycle which is between the day of ovulation and the next menses. That even if you don't know the day that you ovulate, once ovulation occurs, 14 days after that, another menses will start flowing if you are not pregnant. With this, you can easily understand that, so for me to know the day that I'm ovulating, it is 14 days to the next menses. Now, if you have taken like some Every month, you take note of the number of days in your cycle. Every month, you take note of the number of days in your cycle. And you take like some six months and notice that you have a 21-day cycle. Then it is easy. Next time when men just start today, count 21 days ahead, subtract 14. You will know the day you ovulate. Even if there will be no sign, you know that you are ovulating that day. Knowledge is power. Wow. God is great. Some people are going to be blessed right now with this knowledge. And you just wave and say, God, thank you. Thank you, God, for blessing me. Because some people, even after this lecture today, they will be blessed. Some people will even achieve what they, they because of ignorance, they could not achieve. Some people will be blessed. I assure you. Wow. Now you understand that somebody with a 21-day cycle will be ovulating by day seven of her cycle, meaning that what? If men start today is day one, the next day is day two, the next day is day three, the next day is four, the next day is five, the next day is six, the days are seven, she's ovulating on that day. But maybe she's her, her message flow only for four days or five days and stop. If she has sex on day four, she's still menstruating now, she stands a great chance of getting pregnant. If she has sex on day five, blood is still flowing now. She has a great chance of getting pregnant. Why? 
Because if she has sex, the man ejaculates and send in the sperms inside there. The sperms can live inside there for four days. So just see something. If a man puts sperms inside the woman's system and they go inside, the inside of the womb is even warm, comforting, keep the, the sperms active and they can live inside there for about four days, getting to five days. But if she had that sex but on day four of her cycle, thinking that it's still during men's flow, by the next day, which is day five, the sperms are still there now. There are only one day. By the next day, which is day six, the sperms are still there. There are only two days. By the next day, which is day seven, the woman is ovulating on that day seven, meaning the egg of that woman will be released on that day seven. The sperms are still there. There are only three days. And the sperms must have moved on to they are waiting around the ovary. The ovary will just release an egg and the sperm fertilize it. You will now see that you are getting pregnant three days after the day you had sex. Or you are even getting pregnant four day, on the fourth day since the day you had sex. Yes, yes, that's the science. That's it. That is why we always would tell people that if you can know the day that you ovulate, then it is easy to know your fertile period. The fertile period is seven days. The day of ovulation, three days ahead, three days behind. So you see three plus three plus the day of ovulation is seven, makes seven. Every woman sexually mature has seven possible fertile days in the whole month in her cycle. The rest of the days lie, there is no fertility. So, if you are looking for pregnancy, my dear brother, my sister, both you and your partner sit down and learn this lesson. You don't need to be having sex every day. If you are having sex every day or too frequent, the chances for you getting the pregnancy will reduce. Because your body demand, you are not a machine that will be grinding quality sperm today and grinding quality sperm tomorrow. When you grind quality sperm today, rest for like three days the testes would have rested and produced quality again so that you can fire. But why can you, why can you not just study with the woman, you the woman, why can you not just study with your man, understand where you are ovulating? Because it's only when your egg is available that you need the sperm to fertilize it. Now that you are even just having this sexual contact, even when you are not ovulating, there is no egg. So the man is sending in all those sperms, wasting them for what? Huh? Have, you, have you thought about this? Please, the best thing to do when you are finding it a bit difficult getting pregnant is to sit down or get to experts. Get to us. Even online, we can teach you your menstrual cycle. We can understand with you how it has been going. We carry you on possible days to have sex so that the rest of the days you will stay off. When you are actually out to look for pregnancy, it's a business session. It's a business plan. Not that you just think that you can be having sex every day. So that some people have come to me and even say, Doctor, man, no, they know lucky day. You know, one, one does not know the lucky day. No, 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 no. It doesn't. There's nothing like lucky in reproductive health. You would have been just killing yourself, stressing yourself. The day that the egg will be available, you, the, the man has no health sperm. Even if the man is on top of you having sex when the egg is standing there, what the man will end up ejaculating has no health sperm. Even if some sperm is there, it cannot fertilize the egg. The egg will just look at the thing like that and laugh. <laughs> well, you may be having sex on top of that egg every day, every day, every day, but at the end you still see that there was no pregnancy. It means that, my dear brother, at the time where your egg was available, the sperms the man is supplying were not healthy. Use your head. God help my people to use this knowledge and get blessed and give more glory to God. Now we have all seen that it is possible for a woman to have sex during menstrual flow and get pregnant. And I've told you how and where it is possible. Somebody with a 28-day cycle, it is not possible because 28 minus 14 will be 14. You are ovulating on day 14. And so if your bleeding was even up to 7 day, 8 day, 9 day, you cannot have sex during bleeding and still get pregnant because the day of ovulation is too far ahead. But if the day of ovulation was still day seven or day eight or even up to day nine, for those who can be bleeding up to day seven, day six, you can still have sex on day six when you are still bleeding and you will be ovulating around day nine and you still get pregnant depending on the quality of the sperm and the lifespan of that sperm that the man has sent into your system. My dear brother, my dear sister, knowledge is power. 
I wish to continue to dig it more. If you have some other questions, ask them, okay, through the comment section, or you write to me on WhatsApp, okay, and only write to reverse mail, please don't call, okay, because we, we, are, we are at work always, but we can rest and then go through your messages and respond to you, okay. Take the contact, 694 three five three one four one if you are not in Cameroon always start with plus two three seven then you get yours please be blessed bye